It was one of the most shocking extrajudicial killings recorded in the FCT. The five traders and a girlfriend to one of them were brutally killed by the police in 2005 while returning from a nightclub. Ekene Mbe, Ifan Yozo, Shinedu Meniru, Paulinis Obona, Antoni Mokike, and Augustina Arebu were young Nigerians doing business in Apu, a satellite settlement of Abuja. These young Nigerians came under fire when they approached a police checkpoint in their car, which resulted to the death of four on the spot, while the other two were taken to a police station alive. The bodies of all six were later found together, along with weapons which the judicial panel of inquiry heard had been planted by the police. The police officers were charged to court, and two of them, Ezekiel Ajechene and Emmanuel Baba, were sentenced to death, but the team leader, DCP Danjuma Ibrahim was discharged and reabsorbed into the police and made an AIG before retirement. Three million naira was paid as compensation to the families, but the families of the deceased have now approached the independent investigative panel on human rights violation by the defunct SARS and other units of the Nigerian police to review the compensation awarded. At the beginning of the panel sitting on Tuesday, the counsel for the complainant, Amobi Nzelu, told the panel that his petition, dated 5th November 2020, also contained the report of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry 2005, headed by Justice Olaf Sumbo Gulok, that awarded a compensation to the family of the deceased. Nzelu told the panel that the families of the deceased had received 3 billion naira promised them and also exhumed the bodies of the deceased for proper burial but have not received 500,000 naira for the burial expenses. On this ground, Nzelu stated that the 3 million naira compensation that was awarded to the families of the deceased was grossly inadequate and therefore sought for 200 million naira additional compensation. The police counsel, James Idachaba, stated that from the narratives, there is no cause of action against the respondents since the families have been settled. He further stated that the petitioners should present to the panel evidence of the monies not paid. The chairman of the panel, without Justice Suleiman Galadima, after listening to the lawyers, asked Nzelu to tender all evidence of payments made on the 23rd of March to help the panel ascertain which payments are yet to be made. The matter was therefore adjourned to the 15th of April 2021 for continuation. So for emphasis, what exactly are you asking the panel to do for you now? As to upgrade the money that was paid them as compensation. Hmm? Are you affirming that this upgrade is perfect for them? It, as I say, it's discretionary. It lies with them. I've done what I need to do. Mm -hmm. It's for them to decide. They can go in and come and say, OK, give them 200 million. They can go in and say, don't give them anything. I wouldn't detect for them. And the chairman of the panel happened to be a retired Supreme Court judge. So you know what is right. You see, this country, this country has a system that, that they operate. I would do a letter to them. All. Let them see what they're going to answer. Be sure they will not reply to the letter. Some people, for whatever reason, think that this panel is a bonanza, where you now come, you wake up from the wrong side of the bed, come around, ask for a certain compensation that does not exist at all, either in law or in fact. So that is the position. For us, you heard us. We are not capable of anything. And we have told the panels in that regard that we are not. We have done all we needed to do under the law. There was a panel of a judicial panel of inquiry set up for that purpose. They came up with their recommendation, and the recommendation was fully, in our view, complied with. And if they, if there's any aspect of the panel that was not there, they know what to do. Are you hearing me now? Several years after, just because yeah, well, they are talking of one aspect that was not complied with, which is the 500. No, not the complete burial, burial expenses, right? 500,000. have to go and show evidence. If really, he's a lawyer. If what was recommended was not uh, 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 fully paid or whatever it is at that time, he ought to have protested, not waiting years after, just because a panel has been set up. And if you know, this panel was not for that purpose anyway. The panel is to review the activities of uh, the SARS, the defunct SARS, and then other activities of the police that has to do with the violation of uh, human rights. But where you are 
investigated, you are made to face the full weight of the law, you are taken before the a competent court of a, a jurisdiction for trial, I think, in my view, the decision of that court uh, uh, suffices to resolve the, 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 the conflict as, as it was. Nobody was sealed, nobody was hidden, and the police brought out all its own members who were inducted. They were made to face the trial, as he said, and thank God the case was even handled by an erudite uh, jurist. That is the, uh, the former uh, chief judge of FCT, um, uh, Isaac Bello. And uh, I don't know where, what other thing he would want us to do. It wasn't the police that prosecuted the matter. It was the office of the Antony General that handled the, the case.